There is a common statistics problem you will expect to encounter on the FE exam, and that is asking you how many uh, or what is the probability of flipping exactly one particular number of heads or tails on a certain number of coin flips. And so what I'm going to do in this video is work through how you can solve this rigorously using intuition. And the answer, however, uh, is not necessarily intuitive. And because uh, intuitively, I want to say this would be a 50% chance that you would get exactly 50% 50, uh, 50 heads uh, on 10 head uh, coin tosses, but that's not the case. And so the way to think about these kinds of problems is to begin with pretending like each head uh, is a unique uh, value or a, a person. And so basically what happens is that we have 10 seats or slots to fill and we have five people. And so um, the first person we take to randomly assign into a slot uh, will have a uh, 10, uh, will have 10 slots to choose from. So there's gonna be 10 slots available for this person to go. Um, but after this first person enters one of those slots, you now have only nine slots available. So your second person will only have nine slots available. And then your third person will have eight slots available because the first two are occupied by uh, heads A and B. And uh, we will see this pattern continue until we end up with uh, head E. And so what this number tells us, which is um, 10 times nine times eight times seven times six, this number is the total number of ways of arranging five heads in 10 slots if order matters. So what that means is if I consider head A followed by head B to be a different combination than head B followed by head A. Now because we're dealing with something that's very binary and boolean, um, there is no distinction between this, and this was just an arbitrary way of introducing some intuition behind this problem statement, but it does let us um, kind of make a first step in solving this problem. And so because we said that order matters, this augmented the number of probability or the number of chances we have for this event, so we need to divide it by the total number of ways of arranging five numbers. And so the total number of ways of arranging these five heads, if we now thought of um, having five seats available with five people, this is nothing more than five permutations. So we're going to have five times four times three times two times one. And this is because uh, we don't care about the order. And so this helps us normalize the uh, total possibilities of heads um, in this problem. And so what we've done now with this quantity is determine the total number of ways that we can arrange five heads in 10 slots or 10 coin flips. Now what we need to do is divide by the total number of possibilities of 10 coin flips, which is really just 2 raised to the power 10. So we have um, two possibilities for slot A, two possibilities for slot B, two possibilities for the third slot, and so on, all the way down to the 10th slot or coin flip. And so this is the total number of possibilities. And so what we find at the end of the day, once you plug in these numbers, is that we get a value equal to 0 0.246. And so what this means is that we have a 24.6% chance of getting exactly five heads uh, on 10 coin flips. So that kind of goes against your intuition. I wanna say uh, this should be a 50% chance of getting heads or tails. It's really actually a 24.6% chance that you will get exactly five uh, heads on 10 coin flips. 
Um, and so uh, I hope this helps add some insight and intuition into uh, this process. I know it did confuse me initially, but um, after you've done a few of these, and also try changing the numbers a little bit, see what you get for getting exactly two heads or exactly uh, nine tails um, with this problem statement and see what numbers you'll get. Um, but uh, hopefully this does provide uh, some useful information to you guys. And thanks for watching.